Temecula in Southern California for Run For Your Lives, the zombie infested 5K. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm here with, well, I wanted to bring Gabriela out, but uh, we're afraid that she'll break if we take her out of the studio. So I'm here with someone else from my staff, and this is not the intern. She's not even the PA people. This is the production manager of Latin Nation. Hey, Eric, how you doing? Good, how are you? Every runner is given a flag belt, and the flags represent the lives of the runners. If they cross the finish line with at least one flag, they're considered alive. If they cross with none, they're considered the dead. We have people who are first-time runners, avid runners, people who don't run at all. You want to finish the experience. I don't get much people walking off. Give them a flag. The course is 5K, a little over three miles. Uphill, different terrain. All right, we're about two thirds of the way through. I have two flags, she has one flag left. Our strategy has been to team, like basically get close to other people, which right now we're falling into a gap, which is dangerous. Stay with the crowd, and then at the last second, we burst right when we're near them. I got Erica's last life. Ah! The blood pit, it's a slide into a gooey mess. Fun to watch, actually. Freedom is right there. Nice. We made it to the finish line. I have one flag left. Amazingly, my sidekick, she doesn't have any flags, but she's here. I'm here. And I'm gonna I do the it. gentleman thing. You can have my life. I give the sidekick the life. Oh, Way to go. Oh, now go, finish, finish, make me proud. So we work with Project Soul, which donates the shoes from runners after they are done. They clean them and give them to people who need the shoes. Somebody needs these shoes more than me. Thanks, zombies. Thank you. I'm not doing it.